Hello, Christian Dowling here, and I'm stuck in quarantine. I'm not sure about you guys, but I hope you're doing well. I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk about LED lighting, specifically with photography, because a lot of you out there are wondering, well, what's LED like with photography? I've never used it before. Maybe you use flash, and you've seen LED being used in cinema, but how do you apply it with photography? Now, I thought I'd take this opportunity to showcase and test the new FS range from Nanlite. Now, Nanlite is a company that I've been using uh, for quite some time for their LED products, and they're fantastic. Now, they've released this new FS line, which is more of a sort of a lightweight, value-added option that offers exceptional quality for a very good price. So for those of you shooting with electronic viewfinders, you have an added advantage of being able to see with constant light exactly what you're gonna get before you take it. Just like you're making your own production, your own film. Cinematic photography is something that I've been doing for quite some time. I started on sets in Los Angeles and I've taken it with me along the way and I use it with product photography and people photography. Now, if you're at home and you wanna shoot something kind of short and simple, well, here's the first step. So my first shot's gonna be a portrait. And in this situation, I'm looking to basically put my subject at a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna have a light on that same sort of angle to her right. Now that's gonna be uh, placed with a 60 by 90 centimeter softbox in front of it. That's gonna give me a nice fall off on a sort of a downward angle. It's gonna give me beautiful soft light. And by not having her too close to another wall, I'm gonna get some dark shadows on one side of her face. The second line I'm putting on the background, and I'm pointing it to the roof. Um, this way I'm creating a little bit of light that will hit the top of her hair. It will fill out a little bit of the shadow on the left side of her face. And it will just basically light the background subtly as well. And all I've gotta to do to get this shot really is work my subject in a position where I can get her comfortable, get her in a position where the light and the shadows work well together to create that feeling of emotion and give my subject that character that we need in a very cinematic way. Now the second shot is also really, really simple. I'm gonna be employing the use of two PavaTube 2 6Cs, one with a red tone and one with a blue tone. And this is really gonna add that sort of color and depth to the image. The key light's going to be that 60 by 90 square softbox. And that softbox is basically put into position at the right angle where it's giving me a nice reflection in the lens. And then I've just got to put in the two other lights at the right angle in the right position to give me that kind of accent toning um, that creates that, that mood, that sort of dark and mysterious mood that we have in this shot. And there you have it. Two really simple setups completed with two powerful results. And for those of you that really are looking to get into it, there's been no better time. I mean, the quality for price ratio um, is exceptional and it really does take photography to a new level of enjoyment because for those of you especially using uh, electronic viewfinders, pairs so beautifully well to it with the whole what you see is what you get um, experience. I mean, truly what you're seeing through that lens is what you're going to get in the shot. And you're not going to have to worry about all the, the guessing that you would normally associate with flash photography. Now, there are moments where flash is going to be, um, a, a, you know, the better product for that particular situation. But for a lot of situations, especially combined with the great high ISO quality that we now see in all cameras across the board, um, there really has been no better time to get into LED photography. And I hope you've enjoyed this experience and we'll see you soon. Take care.